Oh, hello there. Hello there. So, Lane, I'll take mid. Oh, it's Severance. Middle. Jong Merc. Um. Crown. I'd rather play Jong. I'd rather play against Jong Kuei or Merc than Kronos. We can bait, bait the Jong. The Zhang ban, um, if we can get Zhang, like if they don't ban it, we have first pick, then I can just play Zhang Kuei mid. Or we can play him solo. Either way, it's not, a, not that bad of a grab. Zhang Kuei is very strong. We can play him mid or solo. Not really the biggest thing. Um, da, 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 da. He's going to ban. He's got 10 seconds left. I, don't, I mean, he can go for Zhang Kuei here. He doesn't have first pick. Yeah, he's going to go for Zhang Kuei. That's fine. Um, we can, uh, play a lot of things, actually. Yo, Dro. Dry. That's me. Can I play Merc? Yeah, you sure can, dude. Take it. Take it and do it. Do it. Do it. Do y'all thing. Do y'all thing. Do y'all thing. Jungle, do a jungle. He can merc jungle. Uh, next pick. If they don't get Agni, we can play Agni. Agni is always fun. Agni is always a fun strong god. Um, there's a lot of picks for mid nowadays. Poseidon has fallen out of favor. He's too. Um, I don't know. He's not good at extended engagements. He's all about his ultimate and the cripple. He has good control, and if he gets ahead, yeah, they're gonna. Interesting. They're gonna go Poseidon. Speak of the devil! Chang'e too. Chang'e doesn't really get as much play, style, play time, but um, she's very powerful. One of the longest stuns in the entire game. Um, against Poseidon, Agni's not that bad of a pick at all. In fact, it's a fantastic pick mid. Agni. So I guess I'll go mid um, with Agni. Just because against Poseidon, he does well. Poseidon has a stronger push at level 1 if Agni never gets the chance to dash. Um, but you usually will if played properly. And then once you hit level 5... Uh, Poseidon has kill potential, but Agni has um, mana free harassment and push with the meteors on a 20 second cooldown. Um, so a little bit better. Got solo, there's the jungle. Tears going solo, I guess. I don't know if Pancho's just gonna. Did Pancho call anything, or is he just gonna. Oh, he called solo lane. After Severus, so Severus called it first. Should we blue? I have golden, but I haven't purchased it. I don't know why. I'm not a big fan of uh, gold. I mean, a lot of the skin, a lot of the characters that I have gold for, um, or I would want to get gold for, um, I prefer the normal skins. But I guess I could purchase it just to have my stats on the stat screen. The stats. The stats are do. Da 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 da. Well, hello, to friend of monster. Monster race. Two left. Naja, Neath, Chonga, Poseidon. They have a very, very squishy team. Um, Emir, get weakening curse. And we win. Weakening curse is perfect here. Freya on her. Pretty good, actually. Solo Freya on her Emir. Always strong. Mercury jungle, Agni mid. They're going to do Poseidon mid, Chonga solo, perhaps. Depends on what they pick last. For whatever reason, we picked Demir over Athena, Bacchus, or Sobek. So they, they'll probably pick Sobek or Athena, honestly. And they'll round it out and put Chonga in the solo. Or they could pick a solo and put Chonga in the support lane, but again, that makes their team very, very weak. Ning curse. <laughs> Get it? I made it funny. It's funny. So like, so weakening curse Emir, Iraq, or um, alternatively, you can put it on Mercury. Um, don't really need Fist of the Gods. Sprint is generally what they go for on Mercury, but um, Fist of the Gods weakening curse wouldn't be bad either. Do I need? Can I get weakening curse? Aegis. Don't. 
absolutely need beads. I don't really. It'd be nice. Uh, Blink would also be good. Um, just because of Civic Pull. I'm really Sash. I might be able to swing Weakening Curse if... Uh, I don't need I. No one needs I. Um, we need a Weakening Curse. So if no one else buys it, I'll try to convince them to, but if they don't, I'll leave a, an active slot open. I'll just pick up Aegis for um, Neath Ultimate, for Sobek Ultimate, for Poseidon Ultimate, for Changa Ultimate, and then, of course, for... I don't know. That's pretty much it. That's enough. We'll just get Aegis to Amulet, and we'll sit on it, and then if no one else um, picks up Weakening Curse, we can get it. The reason I want it is because Naja, this is pre-patched, so Naja still has the AoE passive. And they have a pretty squishy team minus Sobek, so if we reduce the healing that they have, it's going to be fantastic. Pestilence would also be good in the solo lane. He'll be going up against a uh, magical solo, so that wouldn't be that bad of a pick. But it slows down. I mean, Freya needs damage to push. You can't really go solo lane Freya without building damage, because then you can't push away from the tower. Solo lane Freya is tough, um, and there's a lot of practice to get it right. You can't just hop onto Freya solo and, and push it in. Um... We shall see. But mid shouldn't be too bad. Neath's Mastery 5. Chongo's Mastery 5. Beside Mastery 3. Although I, I don't really play Agni that much. He's a very strong character, but I just don't play him. Um, <laughs> who are we waiting on? Sobek! Their tank is a lagger. It's not good for them. I'll take it after that last match. Oh, 10. I'm a derp. X is 10, not V. So Poseidon and Neath are both, or Chonga and Neath are both legendary. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's too bad. Uh, let's go standard. We go standard. Me. What about me? We don't need I. Weakening curse. OP. Okay. So we're just going to get the Weakening Curse. Um, and really that's all we need for a big team fight. Slows down the Chunga healing and also prevents... It allows us to fight on the Naja passive, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Once we have that, that'll be able to shut them down pretty easily. Um, that's pretty much the only healing they have. Oh, I'll shut down the Neath Unravel as well and any life steal that comes through, but... That's good. Well, you're fast. Um, so, possibilities. We have three Hand of the Gods. We have a uh, curse there. Chaka now showing up. Freya is getting into some, some danger. Besides, actually, you know, double boots mid. A lot of mana generation, not a whole lot of... Uh, um, health regeneration. Since I have Vampiric Shroud and Healing Potion, uh, it may behoove me just to try to trade with the Poseidon. I have a little bit more regeneration than he does, plus I have ways to avoid his damage where he doesn't really... M most of mine are instants, and I have the passive that works really well for me as well. They're gonna go for this. We can go across the way and get ours. Um, this actually is not that good. I don't know why Freya's soloing blue. Severance just wants to solo it. Um... Interesting. You should be able to get it. You got it. There you go. Very quick clear. I don't know if I'll be able to help him here. I kind of have to go for this. I can't lose all this to my tower. Kind of sucks. The way we split that was really weird. He's in a whirlpool, which allows me to dash now. See, it's, it's a lot better to dash aggressively against Poseidon. I don't know how lot he can do about it in the beginning, anyway. I can bounce this. Mercury ended up getting the red himself, which is good. We've got about 40 seconds until things start respawning. Um, again, he's kind of limited on his ability Retreat. to regenerate, so what we might want to do Retreat. is just go hard. I'm 
push him back here. Now the push is strong, and he has used all his regeneration right now, so I'm free to do whatever I want. Uh, still worried about Naja. There's the Naja. Let me get rid of those. So he's going to go home and finish off his boots. We'll see if he goes penetration or if he goes for... Oh, live. Don't know if he'll get this one. Don't know if that was a passive or not. I don't think it was. Either way. Thanks. Besides, I'm going to push my tower again. Your middle tower is under attack. There's that. Actually, something he could have punished, but he didn't. Hmm. Merrick's there. As far as gold goes, 25. He's a little bit ahead of me. He went in towards. There he is. Just fine. Going to be just fine. If I can stack up two meters, they can kill him. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with one. I will need to. I don't know if he's going to find something here. Looks like he won't. Actually, should be enough there. No, Najia. Uh, they're all squishy. I think I'll go for Pen. I will get one for the road. No, I have Providence from the mirror, but it doesn't really matter too much. He's going for Watcher's Gift. Uh, Watcher's Gift. I don't really get if I'm if I don't know who I'm landing with, but it can do work. And Mirror's gonna end up falling. That's really why I don't get Watcher's Gift. No tanking this early on. He's gonna hog it. Right side should be up. We'll clear the middle lane first. That's not good. Mid's missing. He's back. Knowledge is actually going to be coming this way. Soon. He actually should be down, honestly. If Knowledge is being efficient. And he is. That one's back up now. Oh, he's going for it. Nope, he's not. He was not careful. It may be risky to dash for this one. Just to be in range. But we'll see. No, I was just going to be here. Just going to cancel it. I was just going to be right here doing movement speed, so I'm going to get out. So that's why you don't dash. Merc was right there, but that was a bad play. That was a bad play. He's going to cover... Some damage on the tower, possibly? Nope. Not going to be there. Back. We have one of each. One Amir, one on her, one Agni. Retreat. Um, individually, we're actually not that bad. This actually isn't bad at all. Your middle tower is under attack. Retreat left left. The whole wave. 
You've got this here. Agni scales really well no matter what. And he's gonna get caught here. He's pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. An ally has been slain. This needs to be pushed quickly. And quickly it will be pushed. Free kill on Poseidon who decided to rotate it on a really, really weird angle. Um, we have something from the right, possibly. I do not know. Let's check this up. Naja may or may not be here, I don't know. Looks like he is. Let's just keep him honest. Too afraid of him getting on this one. Besides, Slaz all he's a dash through, which is fine. And we get the god. God. Stack that one up. Gold, we're coming up now. Kills aren't worth what they used to be. It's not the worst thing ever in the world to lose some of the early kills. Side camps are, are hide, hard to come by, but I'm getting plenty of gold right now. Oh, uh, yes, we're actually ahead. 4,600 for me, besides at 4,200. So I'm 400 ahead of my uh, opponent here. Let's start with a uh, trident for whatever reason. Okay. That should be. Oh, you survived! Die! Oh, he's resistant to fire. Enemy missing. Be careful. Frey should be outy. There's a there's a Naja. The side camp's not up. Could be though. So this is where you don't dash. Just in case, watch for the whirlpool. Ooh. Naja, nothing coming yet. Is he stealing our blue? Maybe? Chung, I could have told him that he was going home. No, not stealing it. Interesting. Alright, so right now we're up about 400 gold, um, which is about how much I'm up in my lane. Um, besides here, Naja was just okay. in the side of the jungle. Let's dash backwards if we're going to dash at all. Side camp is up. Enemy missing. Enemy missing. Make sure that's called Enemy out. Enemy have returned left. We can gank left. Or we can keep pushing mid. The way that the game is set up now. Look for that whirlpool. There it is. Interesting. Could have shot the meteor, but I don't know if it's worth it. I'm still looking for Naja. Naja's dead. Oh, the Changa ultimate. Lazy back too strong. Should have just got out at that point. Let's go. This guy. That's the tip, too. That was like too tippy. Tippy, tippy, tippy. I'm going to had to ult there, otherwise I was going to get away. I had like half a second, one second left. Sab's having a problem over here. 
54 versus Chunga is 49. No, he's actually dominating in farm. Farm's really rain king. I mean, the farm is really all that's all that's all that's important. Kills are okay, but not really the best ever. There's a jump. There's a frost breath. Oh, God, Lee. Golly gee. Did he go left? You're welcome. Your right tower is under attack. Ah, I knew it. Whew. An ally has been slain. I clean up. So I can't available. This actually might be since Naja ended up going home. There is. Trident versus two spells. I'll take that trade. And another one. I'll take that out as well. Is he gonna give me a third? Or technically a fourth? Amir, you're frickin' crazy, dude. You are frickin' crazy. Holy balls. Herboy. Herbaderbaderb. There's the rotation. The signs behind me, and he's bought, I think, two teleports so far. Which is really, really good. Enemies. Incoming and where are they at? Alright. camp's here. Let's see. Signs at 57. I'm at 63. I think he's bought two teleports, and I've bought none. So that's actually not that bad. Mid lane. I don't know why. Amir's like deciding now to roam. I guess any time's better than no time. Right. Another free shot. I need some, some more pen or something. What did he buy? Oh, I'll just void. He went for focus though. Nothing. Be careful, right. Let's see if we can't catch Poseidon along. Neef! Neef! Ninja! No, oh my god, dude! Oh god. When in doubt, ult driver. That was a really quick, quick reaction. Oh, why are we waiting so long to do anything? So long to do anything. Yeah. That was a quack reaction. Neath ultimate. That's why you don't dash in. I think it would have been okay. Naja just rotates over immediately. Naja and Mercury are like hitting each other. And Naja just leaves Mercury to come ult me. So much ult. So little time. I, my Agni is so rusty. So rusty. Uh, we're still ahead. Head by about 800 gold, which is good. Um, Neath's doing very well. Um, besides, not doing that well at all. Not very well at all. Do side camp. Where is he? Side null. Oh god. Oh god. Welp.
there that have enough to finish them off there. You're cute. You're very cute. Your right tower is under attack. I'll defend left leg. Just over there. Okay. Your right tower is under attack. It's like the cutest sub I've ever known. Your left tower is under attack. Uh, we're behind now after that big, that big swoop to whoop in the in the net lane. So close. Be careful, right, be careful, right. Your right tower is under attack. Your right tower has been destroyed. She's going for it, dude. Ah, no dive though. I don't know if I can take her on, she's level seventeen. That heal just negated my whole meteor. My mid's now being pushed. Amir got it though. Oh my god, Sev. Honestly, I don't, I don't think Solo Freya is really that great. It works, but I think it's too much of a liability. So the derp games begin. Nothing is worse than the last one, though. I think that's really why I had the last match. Just sets the bar for everything, and now nothing can be bad. Nope. This tower is quite low, though. I can easily dive this mid tower. Hi. An enemy has been slain. Enemies incoming left. Be careful. Retreat. Naja dare. We just keep farming. Mercury, what are you doing, bro? That's their jungle. You're crazy, dude. Do you have follow-up? That's my question. I don't know why he's just randomly ulting me. Subex here. Chang'e rotation possibly. There it is. Damage. They have enough damage. Naja's pretty low, but that just means a Naja passive. Poseidon lead a Lodal. Oh, the Aegis of Destruction, dude. My enemy has been slain. Be right back. Retreat. Retreat. Oh, they're still going at it. The bravery. Oh. The bravery. So brave. Much wow. All right, we have a weakening curse. Um, I think I'll just get a blink. Blink. I get teleport or sprint. Uh. Be careful, right? Got wards there. Low damage early from Freya for the haste of Metalis, but also more sustainable. As long as you be more, more mobile. I want you get damage on top of it. You good. No wards here. What do your elf eyes see? Retreat. That is what they see. 
I help. I was helping. There's a rotation. There's a team fight. That's what team fights look like. Sev's taking a tower. Damage, that nausea passive doing work, dude. Oh, golly. This is when we split push. Uh, we got some time. We actually could go Gold Fury. Do we have Hog? Uh, no. We have Tier 1. Let's see if we can actually get this in time. Yeah, I know they are. We got a tower out of it. I don't think we're able to get the mid tower, but we're definitely able to get the uh, the tower on the right. We get that. Honestly, finish this off. And then we'll go ward, war, mana, and we go. So, back up in gold. You can see the kills really aren't as as useful as they used to be. It's not about absolutely dominating everything. At all times. Left needs support. Lewis is not going to make it. They might be starting gold soon. Sobek, Naja, Neath. Changa's there. They're grouping hard on Guf. They're grouping hard on golf Girlfriend. Field goal's still up. Mm. I don't have anything to grab right now unless Naja gets frisky. Not getting frisky. Poseidon Dare? Poseidon's still behind me? Absolutely. That hasten fatals, though. Hi, Sobek. This tower's so low. Major rotations. Rotations for days. Sobek wants it. He's gonna get it, though. That's the question. Vanish. The Sobek. Frey's got some damage. Almost got that demonic grip for Pen. Herbader. This is the part where you just need to be patient. Which is hard. A second being patient. Cold Fury, nothing to be grabbing there. Once is it left is being defended by on her by himself. Sidender. Side knows he has to stay here or we'll take his tower. That's really what it comes down to. If I keep aside another fight, that's good. I don't know if we'll be able to do okay. There's a kill on Naja. No beside an ultimate. Oh boy. Neath doing work though. That Naja passive. There are something. That's what I want to know. Don't know if there is. D 
Deicide. I think we just go for hard damage. I think we can swing it. I think we can swing it. Naja mid, just one tower. Teleport come from Sobek. We get might get two towers out of this. And then go right into Gold Theory. Oh, this would be a good Naja kill. Yeah! Retreat. Okay. Stay here. So we're Gold Fury. Don't really want to use all your meteors on the objective if you know it's secured. It's one of the biggest things. Mids there. Now we just farm up. There's a lot of people that just dump all their bombs on Agni on an objective, and then if there's any follow up, anyone kind of rotates over, you're pretty much dead. That's pretty much all it is. Or you can't really contribute anything to the fight. Right there, they don't really need my help. I threw down the meteor just for my passive combustion, did a little damage on it, but it wasn't really necessary. We got wards everywhere. What we could do is just kind of just post up, wait for them to jungle something. Like that. What's the set up the ambush here thing? I don't know what it is. Did she see it? Ah, oh, Naja is there. That's how you come back from a big team fight victory. Just post up, wait for them to jungle, and do dirt. Retreat! Retreat! Chunga's here. Merc doing work. Merc doing work. Attack middle lane. Get set. That damage though. Oh! An enemy has been slain. Focus the tower. This ain't gonna be good. That ain't gonna be good. Oh! Yeah, that's a good hit. I don't know how much I can help with this. It's pretty much dead. Some of us could have tanked the tower, but... There we go. Well, okay, I don't think we'll be able to get it with Neath and Beside defending it. I don't know if Freya will get this one. We kind of have to take it as we do. Make sure that's there. And that's there. This one we might have to use the meteors on it. If you're a mage or a ranged carry, you want to sit on the outside as long as you can. And when it comes time for AoE, this is when you stop and you back off. It's about to come down. There it is. See how much damage it does to me? I really don't want to take that. He's here. There we go. Neath has no ultimate. Be right back. Sign's not gonna get it. And they last diet. Um at this point yeah, I think I do enough damage. I go for a defensive item. Or more pen. I actually have a pretty not really. Not a whole lot there. Um, yeah, I think uh, given the fact that I have physical, physical, a couple magical, but some physical, and I know CDR, this is pretty much just going to be. Uh, it's not going to be enough. I don't want to sit here. So I'll have a CDR and, and physical for Naja and Neath, and then I'll be fine. Uh, you don't really want to commit too much to buying a whole bunch of uh, uh, damage items, offensive items. The problem with that is. Yes, you do a lot more damage. Yes, you'll be very, very scary. The problem is you have no defense, so if they ever get the opportunity to kill you, they absolutely will kill you. And then you're giving them the option to come back into the team fights, come back into the game, which you don't want to do, obviously. Now we group up, we push left. 
together. Put some wards down in the jungle. And they got a purple. They got a purple again. Another way to uh, another way to come back or to uh, kind of piggyback your team fights. Most people, especially in casual queues or, or solo queues, is just uh, after team fight, post up in the enemy jungle and wait for an opportunity to strike. No one really, no one really waits for it. No one really expects it. No one really knows it's coming. You can easily just herp derp derp derp. Just take the tower, let it push on its own. It's hard to do that wards. That wards is really important. We have plenty of coverage here in the jungle, so that's good. Sobek out! When in doubt, Sobek out, dude. He just dipped. He just dips. Oh. 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 That follow-up damage. Teamwork OP. That was, that was a really poor positioning by Sev, but we caught it really easily. I don't know why they clustered so hard on that gank on her. Changa. Honor hurts, dude. Honor's got some damage. Look at that. Oh, that greed. That greed. Oh boy. Phoenix doing work right now. Might have enough to bait this actually. I don't know. Yeah, buddy. What I did there is I threw it out early, uh, which throws on the combustion passive. Each time it doesn't protect, pr protect you from stacking things or passive effects or anything like that. Um, so Zeus charges combustion from Agni's passive. Anything along those lines, you can still apply that to people when they are in each team. So I threw the passive uh, damage or time effect on him, so that if he was able to get out of there and, and dash or something, the damage or time effect would have killed him. And right there it did. He was dead either way, but... Ooh! Got backflips. Got backflips. I right, damage off so quickly. We turn this game around. Almost 20,000 gold up ahead right now. Uh, once I finish this breastplate of valor, I will have zero fears for Neath and Naja. Naja ended up being three and ten, surprisingly enough. How are you doing for him? I'm much ahead, far ahead of him. Let's take this and head on home. I actually have given this to him and then headed home. I don't know if he wants movement speed or what, but uh, he shall have it. Uh, we go for Pen here. Still not a whole lot of magic protection. We can go for Bancrofts. We can go for, honestly, Soul Reaver wouldn't be too bad either. Let's just go for Soul Reaver. It's not the great of an item, but what this is going to do is going to allow me to kill Sobek. Um, Sobek and Changa are what's going to allow me to kill. I don't know why Changa still has a Doom Orb. So, I mean, I think we won this game just because they built poorly. Doom Orb and Tarsicles. We had two Tarsicles as well. But Doom Orb, I don't know. I don't like Doom Orb solo. I don't like Doom Orb in general. I don't think it's an item that's really worth it. Overall, I could have bought some wards there. I should have. It's worth it to go in this one. It might be. Banish would have been a kill. Oh, that Naja is going to go left. Oh, he's going left. Oh, 
All that damage. Oh! It got him! Oh! Oh! The fumes! The fumes! The fumes! Oh! The fumes of fate! The fumes of fate! They destroy! He's bad. God! That's why you always need a CO2 detector, a gas detector in your home. Because the fumes can kill, and they often will. Oh boy. That was a good one. That's pretty why you don't really want to give up. Just, uh, GG well played. You basically just want to throw out all that damage, though. All that damage. Um. Never give up. Always farm. Farm, 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 farm. Uh, and the way this, the state of the game right now where farming is more important than kills, even if your lanes are feeding, if you farm consistently and farm effectively, you can easily, easily come back into a bad game. Uh, we really weren't that far behind, and just because we're focusing on the farm more than the kills, uh, we had some good, good stuff there. Uh, we had a, uh, the solo lane got pushed up really, really quickly, which unfortunately we lost our tower very early. Left lane on her and Amir, I think, gave away first blood, um, and I died early as well. Um, and made a couple poor plays, but I mean overall we farmed effectively and came on back. You see uh, the gold farm here, 284 versus 374. Of course, that's a con that's a uh, a result of gold fury and towers, but even so, it was a good lane. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video.